So to begin, you'd want to click on the nine squares or circles in the top right hand area and then come down to your Jamboard app. I'm in the web Jamboard app, by the way, and I'm going to click on the plus sign in the circle right here. And it's going to create an untitled jam, just a blank frame for me to start working in. All right, so I'm here and I'm going to be using the tools within Jamboard to create my worksheets. Now, I don't have a lot of graphic skills or uh, skills in editing and design, but I know what I want and I know Google is a good place to start searching. So that is what I'm going to do. So clicking on this add image right here, it will allow me to start that search. And by the way, if you have images that you edited or you, um, that you would have found before, feel free to upload them here. So I'm going to click on Google image search and I'm going to type parts of a plant label. Yep. And then I'm going to scroll down this list until I find something that I want. I'm searching for the image that I want, not seeing it yet. Oh, here it is. All right. And then I'm going to click select. All right. So just make sure that the image that you choose, it doesn't have, um, you know, too many distractions in the background, like watermarks or things that you don't need on the page and that you can actually resize it like what I'm doing right now to fit the page well, the frame well, so that your students can actually see it. So this is most of the work done right now. Um, I have an image that I want. This works well for me. And all I need to do is to add further instructions and or any other design that I may want to add to this. So next, I want to add some instructions to my um, worksheet. So I'm going to click on the sticky note here and type in, uh, let's put it in caps here. Label the parts of the plant. And then I'm going to copy this because I'm, I'm going to want to use it again and I'll, I'll show you how I will use this again. Click save, change this color, paste again, click save. It's going to assume each time that I want to enter or create a new sticky note. So that's why it's bringing it back up like this. Um, in order for you to get rid of that, uh, when you're finished, just click cancel and it would go away. Now I'm just going to resize these sticky notes because I want them just a little bit bigger than what I was given. Just going to resize all of them. Right. And then I'm going to start um, placing these or stacking them on top of each other. And I, I like to do this. Um, it creates a good design um, on the page for my students to actually see. And you can change the colors of these sticky notes. Um, you just double tap on them and make any edits on them. So I want to add another sticky note here. I'm just going to click sticky note again. And this time I'm going to type in, what do plants need to grow? And then I'm going to ask the students to use images as your answer. So let's, stop. let's change this to, let's put it as transparent. All right, so I'm just going to give this worksheet a name, this Jamboard worksheet. I'm going to call it Parts of a Plant. Then click OK. And that's it um, in terms of preparing my um, worksheet for my students. Now, when your students are working in this, they can choose to um, add sticky notes here, or maybe they can use a pen or finger to write in the answers in the spaces provided. Now, when it comes to this part of the, um, when it comes to this part of the worksheet um, where they have to use images, you can click on the add image again. That's what they can do. And they can type in, um, let's say, plants need sun to grow. So I'm going to type in sun, gif. I love gifs, so that's why I'm, I'm going to put gifs at the end of all of my, um, my searches here. So I'm going to click on the sun here and then click select. Right, and then resize my gif. So it kind of makes my, um, my Jamboard more of a more of an animated canvas so the next thing that i'm going to add here is some soil because soil need plants need soil to grow so i'm going to type in soil clip 
art gif and the image of the solar one is on the soil clip art gif gif so that's why i type in gif not that i need my soil to actually move but it is what i want so i'm going to place it here all right and the last thing here is the rain because plants also need rain to grow so i'm going to type in rain rain clip art gif and select this one right here um, you have to search for the images that you want or that will be accessible to you you know what you want i like images that have transparent background so that i can put them over other images and still see the other um, images objects in the background so i'm just showing you the potential of this worksheet when your students start to work on it So for this example, I'm using the Jamboard app on a Chromebook. And just like the web version, I need to click the plus sign in the bottom right hand area right here to create my new jam. So I'm going to do that. So it brought me to my untitled jam, my blank frame where I can start working and creating my worksheets. So the first thing I'm going to do on this jam is to rename it. Um, I'm going to give it um, the name of Time Jam because this is going to be a worksheet about time, clocks and time. And then I'm going to come down to the plus sign in the bottom left hand area and click on images here. Remember Google um, offers some really neat images that you can use in your worksheet. And in the Jamboard, they really give you some really good images when you're searching here. So I'm going to type in clock, no hands because I want clock um, with no hands so i can um, assign as in this worksheet so this clock seems decent i'm going to select this about four times all right and just arrange them however i want now i just drew a line on the board so i just need to select the select tool to drag these objects around So now I'm going to be using the assistive writing tools to write the time underneath the clocks. The last thing I'm going to do now is to add some instructions on sticky notes and to add some images between the clocks. And that's it for this example. If you're searching for a Jamboard resource of worksheets and activities, then you can have access to mine. Just click the link in the description below. I would invite you also to subscribe, like, and share. Have fun.